Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Trix Pillsbury Toaster Strudels. These are a fruitalicious berry flavor, but I'm assuming they're going to taste like Trix cereal. Trix is a General Mills cereal, if you don't know. These are a Pillsbury Toaster Strudels, are also made by General Mills. Um, this is a large box of Toaster Strudels. It has 12 uh, toaster pastries in it, so it was $4.19 at Meyer. And so, uh, since it has 12, that means there are two packages that one's broken so we won't do that one. <laughs> Ooh, wow look at the color that is so cool I love that pink color okay so we're gonna do we're gonna open this one I'll deal with the broken one myself off camera so you get uh, there are six of these toaster pastries in each package I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my toaster turn it on I've turned it on uh, the last one I made uh, yesterday, I put it like on two. I'm going to put this one closer to three because I want it a little crisper. I liked it uh, yesterday. We had the cinnamon, cinnamon ones, um, but I just, I like them a little crisper. So these are your icing packets. And of course you get six icing packets. You get one per uh, toaster pastry. And I had a comment from a friend, uh, Jean, and she said that um, she usually has to eat a naked toaster strudel because her granddaughter will get in the freezer and eat all the icing packets. <laughs> and uh, so she'll eat all the icing packets and then there will be no more icing for the toaster strudel. So I said, you need to hide those from her. So I'm gonna keep one out and I'm gonna put the rest in here and we'll be back when this is toasted. It's hot. <laughs> and that's how you do it. You just fling it out on the plate. The longer you leave it in there, the hotter it's going to get. So that's just the way it goes. Uh, okay, let's check out this icing. cut it in the middle for you all just so you can see the inside normally I would not do this you I would just eat it um, but I want you to be able to see it before we try it because no, there probably won't be anything left to take a picture of once we try it so here's the inside let me see if I can open it up okay so you can see it looks like like the picture on the box you get the uh, strawberry puree and blueberry. That's what's that's what the, is in the ingredients list. It's strawberry puree and blueberry puree. So now we'll take it to the table and try it. Okay, here we are. And I, I forgot to mention the calories. These are 180 calories each, which is completely normal for a toaster strudel. And you had it with me yesterday, so you can tell me, do you like it better crisp like this, or did you like it better yesterday when I didn't cook it? So, so um, either way for me, doesn't matter. Because it's a little chewier if you don't get it crispy. I like that berry flavor. Mm -hmm. If you like a berry. Dessert, no, mm -hmm. very um, breakfast. Mm -hmm. I think you'd like this a lot. Yeah, that has a good flavor. I don't think it's tricks at all, though. Mm -mm. Which is sad. It's literally just a berry flavor. Mm -hmm. um, but tricks has a very artificial flavor. Right. These are very real, not fresh necessarily, but, but like jelly. Or jams in there. It's almost like they've taken a pastry, a toaster pastry, and put um, preserves inside of it. And the frosting on top is really, really good. The frosting is what I thought of the glaze or whatever it is. I, that's what I thought they would make taste more like tricks. Mm -hmm. And um, it does. It's just pink and sweet. Well, I do. the The frosting does have a berry flavor. The frosting does it. I can't yeah. tell. It was all the same. It has. It definitely has. Well. 
when after before we got on camera i had some on my finger i licked it off and i could taste the berry yeah, in it that's why i knew well. um but yeah the the frosting you tried it all together you hadn't tried it by yeah itself, so the berry right? inside was strong enough to but it's very it uh, the frosting is still very very sweet mm -hmm. but they have added a berry flavor there is, to it a little bit yeah um and then you get the strawberry and blueberry combination in the toaster strudel which if you like their you know they sell just the blueberry just the strawberry i love the cherry if i'm buying one of their fruit filled pastries i love the cherry one yeah. um and oh during the fall i love the pumpkin and i hadn't even thought about that until just now um but when the pumpkin hits the shelves yeah, you i would think they'd be out already i know i know because every the pumpkin's out everywhere else well i like these i, I, I do too i don't eat uh, toast pastries very often so so i think these are really mm -hmm. really good definitely yeah. beats um the cheaper pop tart versions oh yeah these well, are so much more filling and sweeter and these are these are very very different oh they're completely different you have to heat these up to eat them these have the That's the true. flaky um pastry uh, uh, a pop tart is completely different it is. so you know but it's you, funny that a pop tart's 20 more calories than these yeah yeah because i i really like these mm -hmm, these, these are very very nice these would um, the, are more of a croissant type of breakfast than the, the pop tart so uh, so anyway i would get these again they don't taste like tricks though no they don't they're just berry which is a shame but they're still good so anyway i will finish the box so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching